endless songs in halls of lore, their echoes none more grand than Olaine's many feats of might, the pure and lady of the light. She is a knight of golden knot. She is the cure seeker, the conscience of the summer fay. She is the heart of spring, of day. when you're crowding so close. Go back to your business. Go on. Uh. I'm so tired. Uh. I don't care what you race. It's a tragedy whenever anyone's savage like this. Just look at the poor creature. She's been beaten to the brink of death. The Fae may be strange, but they certainly don't deserve this. It appears she was attacked with some manner of short blade, likely a dagger, although there's no way I can be sure. People simply stood by as she called for help. No one lifted a finger. Can you imagine? It's shameful to treat another in such a way, even if she is a fae. I don't know whether we possess the knowledge to treat such a wound. Frankly, I don't even know if I could so mortal with such grievous wounds. It's difficult to say. We've been plagued by the Red Legion for days, but it's not their way to go after the Fae in the area. They like their targets mortal. In case you haven't heard, there have been some Tuatha sighting in the woods to the west, so that's also a possibility. It's unlikely, though. Well, you're the only one. With all the troubles we've suffered in this village, people are weary of adversity. They'd rather just ignore it. I'm going to suggest something a bit... Untraditional. There's a fae named Eri. She spends her days up on the hill overlooking the village. Seek her wisdom. I would do it, but... I am a coward. That's the truth. Perhaps a fae will know how to heal a fae. If not, then we're back where we started. I've spent most of my life dealing with them. But they aren't like us. Not at the core. They don't know what it means to be a man who sweats to feed his family. Gorehart has become a sort of refuge for those settlers who wish to live a life free of Fae. I don't see that lasting. Not with the war. Not with everything changing. She spends her days in the precipice overlooking the village. She doesn't think we're aware of her presence, but we most certainly are. Hope you stay in town. Trust the monks.
kind of animal would join the Red Legion? There must be better ways to earn some coins in this world. Are you here for a weapon? Going to earn a lord's favor in this ridiculous war, are you? I'll be here. Welcome to Gorhart, the last settlement before the Feylands. How can I fill your pack today? See me again. Doors after what is the mission hiding? Why are its gates forever closed? These are the questions we all should be asking. The Fey are not our enemy. Only those who seek to poison us should be reviled. That includes the brothers of St. Odwigs. I don't know if what the Fae say about these stones is true, but if it is, well, this is just too good to not save forever. Lystrom was out of town when Artol was visiting. Now, Lystrom doesn't know Artol, and Artol is older and strange. She could be mistaken for a fate weaver. So, when Lystrom came back to town, here was Artol the Oracular. I said to Lystrom, I hear her readings are amazing. You should go. Oh, <laughs> my, you should have seen it. A rooster, she said, will change into a man, and this man will become your lover. He will provide for you, and he will make you laugh, and he will make your life exciting and easier. But, and this is something you can never forget, he must never eat chicken. <laughs> and once in a while, he will need to peck at things on the ground, and every morning at the break of dawn, you'll hear a loud cry from him. <laughs>
May your hollow gods keep you mortal. I am called Airy. Your face is new to me. You are different from those in Gorhart. They amuse me, and I strive to learn all I can from them. Have you come to ask about the Tuatha? I can offer only what I know, and hope it will suffice. Yes, I witnessed this crime, although I did not recognize the one who perpetrated it. It is often difficult to distinguish one mortal from another. The victim was Eluvia, but I knew her only by name. You must be hoping that I can offer advice, but I cannot. If she is meant for the Great Cycle, then so be it. However, I would be quite interested to find out whether one of my kind would benefit from one of your mortal remedies. I've always wondered. It will need to be powerful. Your delicate forms are far more sensitive than ours. In fact, it's astounding that you survive as long as you do. Perhaps your mortal apothecary can provide one. You can always create the potion yourself if you possess the skill. I wandered the forest for many seasons, listening to lore stones of the great ballads. Before that, I dwelled in the gardens of Issa. I prefer the quiet of this village, the mirth of the witless. Farewell. You there, do you feel nauseous, itchy? Have you noticed any blood leaking from your eye sockets? I've been noticing the symptoms everywhere. No, this situation could not be any worse. If the Red Legion is involved, then we could all be staring death in the face. What have I done? I'm sure I have a vial somewhere in this cottage, but I do not have the time to search for it. I'm sorry. Why ask questions when you could never understand the answers? It's clear your prowess is not with wit, but with a weapon. If you must know, something of value has been stolen. An alchemical formula that, if released, could cause untold devastation. I see its symptoms everywhere. Only my apprentice, Karth, and I knew of my work on the formula, but he's gone missing as well. I do not deserve such goodwill after what I've engineered. If disaster occurs in Odorath, it will be on my head. I'm not sure where Karth may have gone, but I knew that before he came to me, he found shelter in the ancient chambers of Agnor Far Hall, an Irathi ruin east of Gorhart. Once you've ensured Karth's safety, you must learn what's happened to my formula. When you do, destroy it. It's the only way to keep us safe. He always spoke of his time as a wastrel living in the abandoned halls of Agnor Far Hall, the Arathi Ruin. People say it's haunted, but people say many things. Goodbye. 